Charges have been dropped against 901 Church Pastor Stephen Flockhart for what he was originally arrested for back in November for identity theft and theft of merchandise. This ranged anywhere between $2,500 and $10,000. Well, the congregant or former congregant that was part of this is speaking out right now saying that what has happened here is an act of pure betrayal. We'll get into the details in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? There's a couple of ways you could do it. One easy way, just click the super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You also get exclusive links over there that you are not going to find here on YT. Just because of the nature of the topics that we discuss here, I can't take any more chances leaving the links up over here. So they'll be there for you. You can comment censorship free and even send me DMs. So check it out. Again, patreon.com slash not by site news. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So back in November, Pastor Stephen Flockhart of 901 Church in Tennessee was arrested on identity theft charges. And this was not the first time that he had been caught up in something like this. Now, he leads uh, two of these 901 church locations in Tennessee. And this is what happened. Back in 2019, Flockhart, along with one of the congregants, Mark McCall, uh, they had discussed opening up a credit card together for the church, an American Express card. Now, originally, McCall had reservations about this, but Pastor Flockhart told him that, look, it'll be both of our names that will be on the card. And so, reluctantly, he ended up giving the pastor his information. This was all done in a phone call, and Flockhart had told him, you know, I, I got American Express on the phone, and I need this information. So he gave him his information, but later, Mark had found out that it was only his information that was used on the American Express card. Stephen Flockhart's was nowhere to be found. And later on, he discovered that Flockhart had opened up an additional card under just Mark's name only, had linked it to PayPal, and it apparently had ran up at least $6,500 in charges and caused his credit score to just completely dip. So he reported this to the police, and the arrest you know, with Flockhart happened in November. But now, a judge has dismissed these charges as of December 27th, uh, and Flockhart is, is free of this now. Now, Mark McCall, again, is calling this a huge betrayal, uh, he cannot stress enough how disappointed he is in the judge for just, you know, letting him basically get away with this. And, you know, what I mentioned here, too, that this is not the first time that Flockhart has been caught up in identity theft or forgery uh, at his previous church in Georgia, which, by the way, he is still on probation for. Uh, he allegedly had, you know, used congregants' names, forged their signatures for uh, for property documents, and so... Uh, he got caught up in that. He's still on probation for that. Uh, and, and so, you know, how he got off with this, I just, I don't know. Uh, but I can, you know, relate here. I, I, I can feel for you know, Mark McCall here, you know, what, what, this is just not a guy that should be trusted. Okay. Bottom line, you know, and, you know, he was one of the guys that was on, he was on American Idol in The Voice, that being Stephen Flockhart. So he's, you know, he's, he's got a name out there for himself as far as that goes. Uh, but McCall had also detailed that, you know, he really looked at Flockhart as family to him. In fact, you know, he said that Flockhart often referred to him as a second dad. He was very close with his family. And, you know, he says this was, again, the ultimate act of betrayal. You know, you got close to me over the years and then you go and do this. You know, you take my information and you, you know, run up all this, you know, these charges and everything like that. Does that sound like somebody in any way that should be leading a church? Because it sure doesn't sound like it to me. You know, again, he's on probation right now for what he did at the Georgia church. So 
you know, when you see these types of behavior play out with pastors, it often repeats itself, uh, just like we have seen here. Now, I welcome your thoughts on this, especially if you are somebody who attends 901 Church or you did attend it in the past and you'd like to speak out here about the judge's decision. Do you agree? Should the charges have been dismissed? Should they not have? Hey, even for Mark McCall, if you're out there uh, and you'd like to speak out on this too, I welcome uh, your thoughts on this too. You can leave them down in the comment section. God is cleaning house. I can tell you that, guys. More exposure is coming for sure. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days. Really, the final hours in Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. You can join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news link in the description. Or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.